So for this tomahawk, I want to make it really durable. So what I'm going to do is I'm cutting it out of this really thick steel. This is about each eighth inch thick, which is an offcut from this, which I made in the last video. I'll leave a link to that in the description. This is an offcut of that, and uh, this is pretty thick. So I think this will be really durable, and I'm going to include the handle in the whole piece, so there's really nowhere it can snap. Now I'm going to get to cutting this out. I'm going to be using a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder. Now I'm going to use an abrasive wheel on an angle grinder to smooth out the edges and round out the corners. So now I'm going to put a handle on the tomahawk. So what I did is I took a piece of half inch thick plywood and I took the blade, or tomahawk, whatever, and I put it on top of the piece of plywood, positioned it how I wanted it, and then traced it out. And now I'm going to cut it out using a jigsaw. Now that I have the first handle piece cut out, I'm going to take it, put it back on the wood, trace it out again, and cut it out again. So since I want the point at the end of the handle to also be a point to stick into things since this is a tomahawk, uh, I accidentally put on the point as I was tracing it out for the handles, for the handle pieces, so I'm going to put these together and just cut off the ends. So for the drill bit that I used, uh, I thought I did have some pins that size, but I don't. But I do have this dowel rod that's about 5 sixteenths. Um, I drilled a hole with a 3 sixteenth inch drill bit. So, to make 3 16th inch pins, I'm going to take the dowel rod, put it in the drill, and then just put it in the hole and start drilling downwards, and as you're drilling it will cut the dowel rod to the same diameter, or, yeah, diameter of the hole, so you'll have a pin that's the same size as the hole you drilled. So now I have my pins, my handle pieces, and the tang or handle of the tomahawk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some Gorilla Glue onto the handle pieces. Ah, oh, shit. I messed up. I put the Gorilla Glue on the wrong side. When you're putting on the glue, Make sure that the sides are mirrored. Now I'm going to use my belt sander to round out the edges of the handle.
I highly recommend recycling old uh, belt sander blades and just making them into these really long strips because they are extremely useful for smoothing out handles. Like this one, uh, this is the one I had for my old, old belt sander, it was a fi finer one. And the new one I have is, uh, it requires longer belts, so this one's useless, so I just cut it up from this, I just ripped it off, and it's really useful for this, because I can just take this and just... And it is extremely smooth. Now I'm going to be putting on some Red Mahogany 225 wood stain on the handle, but I really don't want to get it on the metal, so I'm going to use some duct tape just to put it on the metal surrounding the handle. Now that the stain is dried, I'm going to give it a give it a shiny coat. <laughs> 